Hi, this is Calvin with Megafixes.com, and today we're going to cover assembling a JST XH connect wire connector. Um, they're used on the 3D printers, uh, Annette, Tronxy, several other boards use them. They're quite popular in the uh, 3D world. And uh, don't see it much anywhere else. Um, battery connectors actually have a different size one. A lot of camera batteries use a JST, different type. A little bit than the ones we're using, but I'm going to show you how to hook these up and uh, uh, what you need to look for when you, you're buying crippers or getting what you're uh, putting them together. Okay, so let me turn the camera down here. It's, this is a high-end studio here. We have one camera. Okay. Now, this is a JST connector right here. This right here, the one with the pins, is the one that solders to the main board. Okay, the other one's the one the wire connects to, and they differ from the Dupont's. The Dupont's are what's on the ramps, and they look like that. They're just a little, they're real narrow. Uh, two of them, two of them aren't quite as wide as one of the other ones, really. In these cases, they're a lot bigger on these. And the crimpers for the Dupont are not the same as well. The Dupont crimpers, you'll see there's two, these are both iWish crimpers. The Duponts are, is a lot, this is the Dupont, that's the Dupont, the wide one's the Dupont, the narrow one is for the JST, okay? So, here's what, you, here's how you go about it. You grab your little JST connectors, and compare to the Duponts, they are short, here's Duponts right here, okay? And there's JST, you can see they're quite a, Quite a difference in the height. Put this in the camera. See that? Okay. Short ones are the JST. Okay. So, wake this up a little bit here. Okay. That's Dupont. There we go. Then you take this like this, and you get the uh, wings that go over the wire, facing that away from you. And you take it in, set it in your connector, in your crimper, in your connector, in your crimper. And you just squeeze it down until it holds it. Don't squeeze it all the way. You'll see it's in there. And on the other side, it sticks out just a little bit. See that? Okay. Now you strip the wire. You should all know how to strip wire by now. And if you don't, maybe we'll make, do a tutorial on that if somebody wants to do that. But there you go. I got a wire here and these have limited sizes on them I don't think they'd go much bigger than a 20 gauge wire to be honest with you slide it down the hole it's crimped and ready to rock and roll take that tab off slide it into your plastic uh, connector the when you slide them in there's there's grooves on one open side other side solid the, what looks like the flat side with one little tab on it that's actually the upside that goes toward these little grooves there right there you can see those little, can you see those little black grooves there well they're not black but shaded there and these will slide right in there with that side up and that little tab Locks in there, and you feel it, it just snapped right in there. And there it goes, it's in there. You just made yourself a JST connector. If you like what you saw here, click before below, subscribe or like, and uh, go out and make a fix something today. Have a great day.